guys, this is Sean and Ralu. How's everybody doing today? On the last episode, we still walking around and uh, also been like uh, battling against other Pokemon, gained some items, battling some trainers, and we also got our new partner, Brooklyn. Yeah, if you guys are thinking, why would you want to name him Brooklyn? Well, again, I'm going to say it one more time, that it came from not only the, the name of the city, but also the name of the characters in Gargoyles. If you guys have never seen Gargoyles, go to Disney Plus and find Gargoyles and you will watch it. It's a pretty kick-ass episode. Oh my goodness. So, uh, yeah, we have been traveling along and, uh, yeah, it, now we are here. We are, in fact, here. So let's, uh, heal our Pokémon. So far, Mint and Brooklyn is already on, like, uh, they're level 20. Um, Gwen has not yet, but she is close. She is definitely close. Hello, dude. 11 trainers. And Aerial Ace. You know, who could actually learn Aerial Ace? I must know. Let's see here. TM, TM. Aerial Ace, Aerial Ace. Ah, Mint can learn it. Hell yeah. Yes, please. Get rid of Scratch. Hell yeah. Hell to fucking yeah. Alright, we are here. Into this town. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can also like buy other uh, sandwiches and all that. And one thing that you're still not lucky enough to go in the fucking house it! <sighs> but again... I cannot really just... I can't even begin to tell you how frustrating it is. Because every time I come in here, and uh, there's not a single thing that you can actually do in order to, like, get in the houses or or uh, talk to a lot of people to get certain items that you can actually use, such as random-ass Pokeballs or uh, some uh, potions or even some uh, el evolution stones, things like that. And uh, you cannot really, like freaking do anything about that, and it just really, it fucking sucks. It really fucking sucks. Ugh. Oh, look at all these one, all these, uh, Vineons. All the patterns of them are really beautiful. The only problem is that if you're living out in the other country, you're not gonna be able to get, like, a, a different pattern every time. If you're living out in the, uh, uh, the real-life country, like, uh, outside of the game, there's a possibility that you can only get one pattern each, uh, each of them. So that's just, uh, really sucks about that, so... Yeah. Cannot begin to tell you how frustrating it is. Because you will not be able to get, like, um, all the patterns of the Vineon, uh, at all, because... It's really kind of bullshit, but kind of makes sense at the same time, so... It's not like I'm actually quite upset about it. I am, exactly, but... It's nothing you can do about it, unless you actually trade from another par uh, from another friend that lives on the other side of the country. But, unfortunately, you cannot, so that's just the one sucky thing about that. And, uh, yeah. It's just, uh, one of those, uh, things that there's nothing you can do about it. So, I'm just looking around the town to see if there's any other items that we can actually, uh, use and all that. And, um, there are lots of items that could be around here in the area, because... I guess it kind of makes sense. Now I'm slowly understanding a little bit better about, like, why the items are pretty much right behind of the areas of the town, and then you cannot talk to a lot of people in order to get certain of the items. I think I understand why. I think that makes uh, exactly the sense. At first it was frustrating for me to, like, uh, not talk to a lot of people and uh, get the uh, items that you wanted and, uh, and not go inside other places. At first it was frustrating, but now I'm slowly understanding why, because you can actually get the items that's on the uh, Pacific areas, and uh, get them from there. So I'm 
slowly understanding about these things. Still frustrated, but slowly understanding. It took me a while to understand now. Alright, sandwiches. Now that you got your own picnic stuff, you can talk to this guy. Okay. Well, it looks like you won't be able to talk to him because apparently you're going to need a gym badge in order to, like, uh, in order to, like, you know, get the, uh, item. Alright, so, now that's all done, I think it's about time for us to go to the gym. I think it's about time. Wait, whoa, 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 what, 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 what? Okay, this little boy wants a, uh, Flabebe. If you talk to him, this guy's the only thing that you can talk to. Like, I don't get it. But anyways, this guy is a tradable uh, in-game trade Pokemon. So in other words, if you have um, uh, if you have a Flabebe, you can actually trade him with sw with Snorm or Snoom, I think. Snoom, Snoom, that's it. So, in other words, like I said, you can actually trade with him, uh, with Snoop, uh, with Snoom, or Snome. Uh, I don't know. I don't know anymore! Alright! So, why not we get to it? Shall we? Alright guys, let's get started. Alright, we get to do our first challenge. And I think I know the location, but I think it's going to show you on the map for where it wants you to see. So it wants to show you for where the location is, and it is right there. So why don't we go there right now? I'm going to, like, uh, put the, um... Because I know the exact location of it. I played it before. But it doesn't really mean I actually remember it very well. Ah. Alright. So I think so far my Pokemon's on the level that they need to be, so that's not really an issue. Let's roll, roll, roll. Okay, what's really 
funny is that I was also afraid that they were going to, like, you know, um... I was always afraid that they were going to, like, uh, you know, um... That they were going to, like, um... Time me about all this. But no, they didn't. So I was actually really afraid that they were gonna, because I suck at time. afraid that they were gonna time uh, like time me out but no luckily they don't thank god for that one I hate it We just gotta go back to the gym. Whoa, a lot of jigglypuff and igglypuff over here. Jesus criminy. Alright. Let's go to the gym, Lita. Alrighty. But again, I'm really glad they don't actually like time on you, so because I always hate it when they have to do that to you to see like uh, how much you how much time you are gonna make it. All right, let's get to it. gym leader and also very kind looking but she is actually quite tough not gonna lie all right so luckily I got Brooklyn up here because I have a reason to wanting Brooklyn for one thing the other thing is that I think he's the cutest little Pokemon ever all right next up Ember is 
just not a very powerful move. And there we go. Oh, yes. And here's her Pokemon. Her Star of All. And you guys are thinking, Shauna, why do you think she's a Star of All? This Pokemon's not even a bug type. Oh, just watch. Just watch. is a bug type. Terra bug type. Yep. Oh my god. But not for long. I'm the winner. That was easy. All right, guys. We beat our first gym leader. Okay, guys, I think we are done for it to, the, today. Let's just uh, check to make sure outside. All right, so, uh, yeah, Brooklyn actually did a fantastic job because I knew it was going to be really easy with a bug type, but... Since uh, Gwen and Mint is not really powerful enough against the uh, <laughs> against a bug type like them, since they're both weak against bug types, so that could actually cause a little bit of the issue. But in other cases, I think we're gonna end up right here. So if you guys are thinking, "Oh, what are you gonna do this time?" Well, we'll have to see and find out. 
But in other words, guys, I think we're going to end off the video right here. So in the meantime, guys, please make a like down below and also subscribe. And if you want to comment to me, please feel free. Hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye!